John Wells can't really remember when he decided to move out to the middle of nowhere. It is rather harsh. We don't have uh, streams and springs in this particular area, and if you can, if you can get well water, it's not very good. I was warned that it gets hot in the summer, and they were right, it gets hot. My immediate family was really concerned that I was coming here to be a hermit. But um, most of my friends knew what I was interested in, and you know they all thought I was a little crazy to come way out here. And I can't remember the exact moment it happened. I decided to sell my house in upstate New York and move out here. No, the West Texas sun hasn't baked John's brain, but it is baking his bread. In a device called the solar oven, John can cook up a corn pone that would make any Dutch oven devotee proud. No campfire, no coals, just a burning ball of gas about 90 million miles away. The solar oven is one of many experiments going on at this outdoor science center called the Field Lab. Using high-tech windmills and battery arrays along with no-tech marbles like the solar hot water heater, John Wells turns Mother Nature into a mother load of renewable energy. It's all part of a plan to become self-sustainable, to live completely off the grid. Not bad for a man who spent his younger days among the subways and skyscrapers of New York City. How did you come to be here? What's... If I could answer that question, uh, that's the million dollar question. I have no idea. You know, after years of working in, in Manhattan for a long time as a fashion photographer and a, a set and prop builder for film and television, it occurred to me from all the labor I was putting in to just buy everything prepackaged for me, it might be interesting to try doing it for myself. I don't think I would go back to a big city. Um, it, that kind of life doesn't even make sense to me anymore. Um, I, I'm more in the, I think I'm in the, in, the, in the part of my life now where I'm into exploring new things as opposed to being stuck somewhere. So, um, you know, there's plenty to discover out here. So, uh, no more city life for me. I get, I get nervous when I drive to the city now, even to Alpine. So Bob, this is the inside of my house. We're in the foyer right now. Um, and over to our right is the kitchen. Right right here. Right okay. over here. So I'm in the kitchen now. Yeah, we're in the kitchen. Okay. And if we turn around, uh, we're in the, there's the bedroom over here. So right over here, now I'm in the bedroom. Exactly. Uh -huh. And then over across the hallway is the office. This is okay, the right office. Over. Okay, so one, two, so it's three rooms in a foyer. Pretty much, yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. 128 square feet and I use every square inch of it. These days, John's abode is even smaller than a Manhattan apartment, and he no longer looks much like a fashion photographer. He has become instead a thinker and a tinkerer, a researcher and a reporter on what it takes to live simply, the high-tech way. John even runs a daily blog on his successes and failures here in the desert. You know, as remote as it is here, I have a DSL line. In the morning, I, I start off with the computer and check email, and uh, in the uh, end of the day, I usually spend an hour or two working on my daily blog that I do. Um, so that, you know, that has to include something interesting I've done for the day, and it has to include a photo of the day. John Wells doesn't know exactly what he's looking for or if he'll ever find it we suspect he's searching for something about himself. For now, he's happy trying new things, even the occasional attempt at cowboy poetry. John's poem, The West is the Best, sums up the way he feels about his new home. I pledge allegiance to the state of which I just come to. Moving from New York to Texas was the best thing I could do. Land out west is vast and cheap, of that I was aware. 8,000 bucks bought 40 acres, that's a quarter mile square. 
Living in the East had its perks and was good, but there was something back there unattainable. In today's day and age, there's a new frontier to live a life that's self-sustainable. The sky really is big, like they say out west, and one thing is for sure, when the clouds are right and the day turns to night, there's a sunset, sweet and pure. When the sun goes down and the lights come on, it all happens out of simplicity. No power poles here, just the sun and the wind. Nature makes my electricity. And just to be clear, it's isolated here, but I never get upset. I work when it's fair, I got friends here and there, and I got the internet. Now to end this ode about my new abode, to Jim Morrison I must attest, the West is the best, the West is the best. Come and we'll do the rest. <laughs>